In the landscape of automotive history, tales of bold innovators and dreamers have often ignited the creation of iconic vehicles. One such visionary was Eberhard Skulls, whose journey led to the birth of the Eastera Imperator 108i, a red gem that breached the gap between classic aesthetics and futuristic aspirations. With just 30 units ever crafted, the Eastera Imperator 108i is a super rare and iconic V8 powered classic. Now the saga of the Imperator 108 commences with a remarkable display of determination. Picture the scene, Eberhard Skulls, the embodiment of automotive zeal driving his own creation to the gates of Porsche's headquarters. This bold act was a bit not to just showcase his craftsmanship, but also to land himself a job at the esteemed manufacturer. It's the stuff legends are made of, and Skulls' guts did indeed lead to a position at the prestigious company. Yet his creative fire burned fiercely, and his ultimate expression of ingenuity was yet to come. The seeds of the Imperiator's conception were sown in 1978, when Skulls was actively involved in the creation of the CW311 concept car at Mercedes. This project aimed at revitalizing the spirit of the iconic 300SL, which intrigued the automotive world. Unfortunately, the concept never evolved beyond the drawing board. However, for Skulls, this was the mere spark that ignited the fire within him. Between the years 1984 and 1993, the Isdera Imperator 108 emerged from the womb of Skulls' visionary enterprise, Isdera. This acronym stands for Engineering Company for Styling, Design and Racing, encapsulating the ethos of Skulls' venture. The Imperator was envisioned as a modern interpretation of the aforementioned concept a living embodiment of Skulls' automotive dream. The Imperiator's production was a labor of passion, resulting in only 30 examples gracing the asphalt. The heart of the Isdera Imperiator 108i is a mechanical masterpiece that offers breathtaking performance. At its core lies a Mercedes 5-liter V8 engine, mated to a ZF 5-speed manual transmission. This power plant delivers a robust, 326 horsepower and 294 foot-pound of torque, propelling the Imperator from 0 to 60 in a mere 4.8 seconds, an impressive feat for its era. Now for the chassis, the Imperator got a meticulously engineered chassis featuring aluminium honeycomb panels and inboard coilover suspension, which ensured exceptional handling and agility. Its mid-engine layout and rear-wheel drive configuration contributed to the well-balanced driving experience that rewarded the driver with unparalleled feedback and precision. Now this is a pretty cool car, but you might wonder, what does one of these cost in our days? Well, they aren't exactly cheap, with estimates pegging its value between $800,000 and a million dollars. And even back then, this car was for the rich and famous. One of these will be going up for auction soon. And when looking at the paperwork, the car was owned by M. Thackwell. While the identity was not explicitly stated, indications suggest that the illustrious race driver Mike Thackwell was the owner in question. And Thackwell was a big part of motorsports history, racing in Formula 2, 3, as well as sports car racing. Stefan Belloff being challenged very heavily now by Mike Thackwell with the Casio Rolt. Over the years, the East Era Imperator 108i has gained recognition as an unappreciated classic, with enthusiasts and collectors recognizing its significance and artistry. Its scarcity and the passion poured into its creation have led to an appreciation for its design performance and engineering prowess. The Isdera Imperator 108 continues to captivate and inspire, 
reminding us that the automotive world is not just about numbers and statistics, it's about the dreams of visionary creators who dare to imagine the extraordinary. In an era where modern supercars were equipped with cutting-edge technology, the Imperator stands as a symbol of unfiltered passion and dedication that can create an enduring masterpiece. Now, I have to say, for me personally, this isn't the best-looking car out there. The story behind it is really cool, and the creator of the car is really inspiring, and I like the dude. But I don't really like the design. I don't even really like the design of the CW311. Um, it's not a bad looking car, it's just not like my favorite, but it is a really cool car with a really cool story and I can understand why people are willing to pay almost a million dollars for one of these, especially with the prices of cars these days. I mean, new cars are just insane. So if you can get a classic car that nobody else can get their hands on because they don't make them anymore and there's only 30 units, then it is pretty cool for the collection. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of the video and what you guys thought of the car. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.